exactly how hard is it to start a video? Hey, thanks for popping in. Hey now, it's Mark from Hey now, it's Mark from Race Cruise. Thanks for popping in. You know the Hot Wheels character cars. I really love collecting the Hot Wheels. Hey now, it's Mark from Ray. Hey now, it's Mark from Race Cruise. How are y'all doing? You know the uh, Hot Wheels character cars. I love collecting the character cars. Well, I just happened to find some more this morning. On the way down to the studio this morning to film the weekend show, of course, stopped by Target and Walmart. I found the uh, Jurassic World character cars at Walmart. At Target, I didn't find anything, but during the week at Target, I did find this cool combi, basic treasure hunt. There you have the Circle Flame logo on the roof. It's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be popular because it's a basic treasure hunt. Plus, it's a cool combi, kind of has a uh, piece design decoration on it. This is another cool car right here, truck I should say, 52 Chevy. By the way, this is a super treasure hunt. If you find this one with Spectre Flame paint, rubber tires, this is the basic super treasure hunt for the uh, assortment. I do believe, uh, J Case, uh, I should have looked. I should have checked before, J Case. Anyways, I don't know if this is a super in the J Case or not, but if you find this with Spectre Flame paint, it is a super treasure hunt. This Nissan's pretty cool. 82 Nissan Skyline R30. I'm enjoying, I'm going to be picking up uh, every color that they release of that one. I might not get every color of the custom 01 Acura Integra GSR, but uh, this one looks pretty cool. You don't get too many uh, deck designs or cars with a skull on them. I guess you kind of do, but this one has a skull and gears, kind of make it look like a skull and crossbones with the Boost B Brigade logo. This is a new for 2018 model. By the way, this is not uh, the first color. It's the 16 Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, I believe there was a color release before this. Here in red, another new for 2018 model. The second color of the 16 Cadillac ATS V R. Of course, uh, fake. Oh, I forgot the. I forgot a car. Uh, let's go. It's a, it's a car where you can put a figure. You can have them sit right in there. And right here you can show them, you can see them driving. And there it is. <laughs> it's got spots where you can do stunts in the front and the rear. And then you have a driver. Looks like he's holding the uh, steering wheel. So it looks like you can grab around the steering wheel. Mazda Ripu in white with Yokohama logo on it. And this is a beautiful purple color for the Nissan Skyline GTR R33. It showed up in the multi-packs first. So it's nice to get it in the singles. Now as for this one, hang on, I forgot one car. This one, I forgot this one. This is also a ride-ons model, HW ride-ons. Shows that you can uh, ride on it. And there you go, there you have your, you guys doing stunts, holding onto the rails, and there you have the driver holding onto the steering wheel. Except, uh, how are they supposed to grip that steering wheel? It's a flat piece of chrome. Uh, I don't know. Uh, unless your driver can reach up and hold on to the rails, uh, he might be flying out as he's driving down the road. Driving down the track, I should say. But let's go ahead and get to the character cars. Now, I found these at Walmart this morning. Mm, under $4. Jurassic World, love the character cars. They're fun to collect. Uh, they do a great design. They do a great job with the character car being representative of who the character is. That is the, the vehicle. And here you have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, this is a pseudo uh, six wheel. Maybe it's a spare tire. Oh yeah, yes, it's like a spare tire. It looks like a uh, tractor trailer. There you can see the fifth wheel. On the back, there's your five characters for this batch, I assume. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor Blue, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Motosaurus. So number one is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Number two, here we have the Velociraptor Blue. And we went to the movies over the weekend to see the Marvel Avengers movie. And this was a preview, so I guess Blue is like a key character in the new Jurassic World movie. Forgotten something, I forgot the name. Uh, this is number four. I don't have number, I didn't find number three. Number three is the Triceratops. And here you have the Stegosaurus. Nice card art, and there's your Stegosaurus. 
This one's a six-wheeler. This one's a real six-wheeler. Got triple axles. I like the uh, the spikes. Probably plastic for safety re reasons. It looks like it's a separate piece in there. And that was number four. Number five is the Mos Mosasaurus. Uh, oh yeah, this one's an aquatic uh, creature. <laughs> they have the, they have this one in the preview for sure. Another six wheeler. Well, that number five. Well, I did not find number three. Well, thankfully, Mattel happened to send me a Jurassic World complete collection. They have a box set of character cars. Pretty cool to have these box sets. Nice to display. It's not the first character cars box set. They had Justice League. And here were, here, were the, here were the models that were in. And they were in packages like this inside the box. Now they've done that for character cars. They've done that for pop culture where they had the peanuts. Five different models. Uh, I really, really like this set. I don't know. It was just a fun set to have and own. I enjoy all of them. Sorry, I should have given you a close-up of these six cars in case I was too far away. You have those three and these three over here and so character cars and pop culture and also well it used to be called retro now they're calling it something else collectors we're just calling these retro Mattel could keep changing the name retro retro entertainment retro it's something i forget what it's called now uh anyways so they had this ford motorsports i think there was two forces sets actually so yeah these nice packages inside and you can find these in the singles on the pegs, or you can buy this box set and get them all. Of course, I like the 17 Ford GT. Yeah, it's okay, that version. But anyways, and you can see the Lamborghini Gallardo on the end. So now another character cars box set. Jurassic World Complete Collection. I don't know where this is going to be sold. These used to be sold at uh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us is no more. Legal Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, no pictures. No pictures of cars this time. Now, I already opened it up. I don't know if you can see the tape. There's a tape right there. I, I already opened it up. And look, check it out. You got, uh, hey, they're, they're already captured. I thought there was, uh, I thought there was a little slogan. Oh, well. Anyways, there's your dinosaurs. It's kind of neat. You open them up. Got a cool little insert. So you have your dinosaurs in there. Now, I'm curious. What does that uh, third dinosaur look like that I'm missing? Let's take this out. Oh, it's like a cover. And uh, guess what? No, <laughs> sorry, no cold packaging. Uh, oh, okay, look, they didn't show it. They didn't show that you were going to get the singles. But collectors who buy these box sets uh, are going to be accustomed to getting these packages inside. That's what they're going to expect. Uh, there's going to be some disappointed people, I think. Now, if you're buying this for a kid who wants to play with the cars, these are perfect for playing with the cars. That's what they're like. That's what they're for. And you know what? That's the one that was uh, not in the singles. I didn't find it in the singles. I'll get it eventually. It's not going to work on the track. Uh, too wide. Really wide. So this one, they made it like a uh, dump truck. And this is the Triceratops. <laughs> Check out the Triceratops. It made it into uh, horns on top of the hood. Pretty cool. Now, there's a dump truck. I don't know if it dumps. Let's see. Nope. No dumping. Uh, they've had other dump trucks, like the Star Wars character cars line. They had a dump truck, and that is actually working dump. It actually has, I think, a bunch of bones is what it actually has. Now, since I have this open, I'll go ahead and take a look. By the way, uh, Circle Dinosaur logo. Uh, 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 that's a Jurassic World logo. There's your Jurassic World logo on this one here. Now, out of all these cars, uh, they're... They're not going to work on the track, really. I posted a picture on my community page on YouTube. Uh, which one's going to work on the track? Well, now I'm going to find out. This one doesn't even fit. This one's probably going to fit. This one might be the only one that's track compatible. Now, that, that's not what they're designed for. You can play with them, it doesn't, but they're not stated to be track compatible. This one's kind of like a troop carrier, huh? Oh, yeah, sure enough, it even has seats in the back. I can't get the light in there to show you the seats, but uh, there's a row of two rows of seats on the left and the right, as if it's a troop carrier. So that's what's neat. They they take the uh, character cars and they give it the essence of the character, and then they make it different kinds of cars. Here you have some kind of a jet speedster, dump truck, 
troop carrier. This one uh, is just a big vehicle. Mm, I'm not sure what, you, what kind of vehicle it would be. Stegosaurus, I do believe, was the name. Just curious. These are probably flexible. Yeah. Different plastic for safety reasons. It's still going to hurt if you step on it, but it does have some give. Uh, triple axle. L07 is the code. That, was, it, that means it was made this year. L is for 2018, and they were made the eighth week of 20. Wow, they got them here to the United States quickly. Uh, this one's L06 right there. L06. Uh, where's the other? I thought there was another six wheeler. Six wheeler, six wheeler, and that's all of them. What's the last one? I didn't really give you a close up. Uh, I thought I showed you this one, this one, this one. I think this one I didn't really, but I showed you in the package. And there's the fifth wheel. Pretty cool. Feels nice. Uh, you know what? Some people might not like these. I think they're, guess what it is? It is a six wheeler. <laughs> there's actually an axle in there. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, they're fun to collect. Character cars. Uh, big fan. And uh, glad to see Jurassic World. Fair warning, if you're buying the box sets and expecting the singles to be in there, that's not what you're going to get. Oh yeah, before I forget, this one does fit in the lane, but it's snug. So it's it's going to be slow going down the track because it rubs on the edges. This one, the same thing. See how it scoots and stops? Well, it's kind of wedged in there. This one has just a little bit more wiggle room, so it does make it in the track. Anyways... Thanks again to Mattel for providing these for review. So I'm looking forward to the Jurassic World movie. You know, the dinosaurs are cool too. I'll talk about that more in just a moment. When I seen that Mattel was going to have vehicles in the Jurassic World line, you know, I reached out and I said, hey, if you have, I gave, I gave them a short list. If you have any of these items, and it included Imagine X, it'd be kind of neat to check out some of the Imagine X vehicles products on this channel as well. So, you know, I got a box. Next thing you know, I get another box and have I have these dinosaurs, right? You know they're cool, but but they're really they're really not for here on the race groups channel, right? So I have the still plays with toys channel, and I think I'm gonna do these over there. I got a lot more than just those three, so uh, maybe I'll unbox maybe I'll unbox these on still plays with toys. And then some of the vehicles, maybe some of the vehicles use these. I'll do those here on race screws. Makes sense, right? Over there on Still Plays With Toys, I decided to go ahead and do a Hello Kitty unboxing video. It was a surprise. There's like six different vehicles that you can get. And so I decided to put that over on Still Plays With Toys. Thank you. Over a thousand views. Thank you very much to those who enjoyed it. And if you signed up for that channel for just Hot Wheels stuff... You can unsubscribe if it's not for you. It's, it's okay. It's going to be, you're going to get a different feel for that channel. It'll be stuff that don't doesn't belong here on Race Grooves. And it might be geared more towards a, a younger crowd, okay? Now, John, in the in the video, uh, the Hello Kitty dolls, dolls, cars, they, they had a steering wheel on the right-hand side. So I asked, hey, what, does your country have steering wheels on the right-hand side? Thank you very much to John Schuster. Japan does have drivers sit on the right side and cars are on the opposite side of the road. I don't know if he's in Japan, but he knows or he's We all know that anyways T. Coley New Zealand drive on the right as well. Great unboxing. Thank you very much And thanks for checking out the still plays with toys channel Now the hello kitty. Here's a picture with the steering wheel on the right hand side Michael Zykast garage and racing I am glad you got the whole set of colors looks like the size of the Pixar Cars Pities, maybe some racing between brands. Great review. The Tomica Hello Kitty Cars, they're more in size with the Cutie Cars, the Shopkins Cutie Cars. Those are under $5 and are available in all the toy stores. They come with a little Shopkins character. Here's one I have opened up, and I put the little Shopkins character. They have a little post for you to place them in the car on the seat. Here side by side, they're almost the same exact size. The Shopkins Cutie Cars and the Hello Kitty Cars from Tomica. Thanks to AJ Tech who checked out my snake pit over on the Track Time channel. Here's the comment, this track is the best. I'm glad you like it, thank you very much. I like that layout so much that I'm keeping it set up. Here you can see it covered with fabric to keep the dust off. I got plastic over it too. 
As for elevator action, I've moved it off of the filming table, put it in storage. But as you can see, it's covered in plastic and it is stored up. And if I want to use it again, I can set it up again. I had to move elevator action for epic track battles. I filmed another competition coming soon to the epic, tr no, coming soon to the Track Time channel. The Fuji Heluxicon track set will be one of the events in my first epic track battle. I'm not telling you the two cars yet though that are battling it out. Here's my next track time shoutouts video. It's going to be on the drag race action set. This one came out uh, in the mid 2000s, I forget. Two lane downhill drag racing action. Off the pegs, Walmart has a new spring edition set. Six cars set. HW Road Beast. Was it Twin Mill 3? Yes, it was. Boba Twin Mill 3 coming back. It's one of the six cars. Glad to see Twin Mill 3 back. It's an orange. As a matter of fact, second time it's been an orange. When it was released in 2008 as a new model, it was orange then as well. No tampos, no decorations on it. Uh, there's lots of them on the spring edition car. The spring edition car has a green window, whereas the original one does not. They have different wheels and you can see the bases are different colors as well. One silver and the newest one is yellow base. I did a Johnny Lightning Classic Gold unboxing video. Mr. Fisherman, very good content. Love your videos. Has anyone ever told you you sound like Jeff Ross? Why well, I get I get told I sound like uh, several people. When you got billions of people in the world, you know, we all kind of maybe we start sounding familiar, you know. That's the way it goes. Okay, coming up after the break, a brand new Disney set from Hot Wheels. Over on Twitter, Tim tagged me, ask Race Grooves, hope you're well. Just found this often awesome Hot Wheels Disney Mickey Mouse set, which just hit the stores in the UK. They have an L04 base codes, all really cool casting. Sure, your daughter will like the Green Plymouth. Well, let me tell you something else, Tim. My daughter loves Disney. She has an annual pass for Disneyland in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> She's going to want me to get the whole set. On the top row, left to right, we have Torque Twister, Rocket Box, 40 Ford Coupe, and Cove Light Returns. On the bottom row, Bread Box, Avant Garde, Plymouth Fury, and the 32 Ford. But that's not the only set they're getting in the UK. Tim showed me a picture of a Star Wars set. On the top row, Quick and Sick, Nitro Door Slammer, Diora 2, coming back, Mad Manga. On the bottom row, Twin Duction, Fandango, Bully Goat, and Barbaric. Diora 2, I had to ask him for more picks. It looks like this time they used the metal body version. No surfboards though. It's kind of a bummer, but I think I like the metal body Diora 2 better than the plastic versions with the uh, molded in surfboards. George Batman, Ask Race Grooves, do you have the capabilities to do a live stream? It would be interesting if you did a live weekend show or even track time building, track time building stream so folks can see your process. Might be a fun way to casually interact with your fans. Uh, we'll take these in order. It's actually better if I live stream at home because I have cable internet access. Very good. Good speed. Problem is, is I can't figure out how to do a live stream on YouTube. So I'm looking into how to do it again. But... Uh, I've, I'm also looking at a program to where I can pop up the comments right here during the live stream. I can maybe f feature some comments from the comment section, right, from the stream, while putting in comments right here, right? Plus, you know, I like popping stuff up right here. It makes it interesting for the viewer as well. So uh, there is a program. i got to learn it. But uh, the problem is, is i got to spend more time getting my track time done uh, because that's what supports the channel. The weekend show does not support the channel at all. I do I do a weekend show for interaction. As far as your other questions, uh, track building stream, I did a live stream before when I did a track, I shot film track time. People got to see it while I was doing the track time. And the people are commenting, he's not interacting with us. I'm, I was doing live, it's like, uh, anyways. Uh, an another problem is that I can't, I can't be setting up and interacting with people at the same time. It, it just doesn't work. Uh, and there's another reason why. I comment on every one of your vids. Love your channel. You're the best YouTuber. Ask for a shout out, but I've never got one. If that's not how you get a shout out. If you watch every comment that I feature, it's not because someone asked for a shout out. It's because 
they're participating and they're giving a comment that I can share that benefits other people watching the video. Nobody tunes in to hear you getting a shout out. You want a shout out, but what about the thousands of other people watching? They don't care about you getting a shout out. Post a comment that I can use in the show and then everybody gets the benefit. And that's the problem with doing the live stream as well. That's why I stopped them. Give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. It's not fun for me. Maybe you guys like it. It's not fun for me to just have to look at everybody. Give me a shout out. I cut out their name because I didn't want to post it. So to that person, you know who you are. If you post a comment to where I can share it in the show and everybody gets to learn something or I answer a question to where it benefits people. And not what is your favorite car. That's what everybody asks. People know my favorite car. They're going to comment what my favorite cars are in the comment section right now. Brandon Slime, Race Crews, can you show all the trucks in your collection that are in the box? Well, I'm not sure which box you're talking about. I have tens of thousands of cars. I have far too many trucks to show in one video. And that's what Truck and Tuesday is for. Well, I'll get to show the car trucks eventually. I got plenty of time. I've been doing collecting for 20 years. Been doing YouTube for 10 years. I got plenty of time to show my collection. Ken Winsner asked Race Grooves, so do the original Hot Wheels Hot Ones, that was a segment of Hot Wheels Hot Ones, do they face to the left, the original ones from the 80s? Well, yeah, back then they did. And there's been different lines to where Mattel might change the direction of the cars. For quite some time recently, I'm going to guess 20 years, they've been facing to the right. Kevin965 asked Grace Cruz, Hello, Mark. Are you going to make a video of the Hot Wheels chess collection? This year, one of the series, you guys know, in the Hot Wheels brand. They have uh, chess, different chess pieces, decorations for the cars. I have no plans to make a specific video for that segment. Now, last weekend show, I went to the Hot Wheels car show. They're going to be at over a dozen stops across the USA. I'll put a link down in the description below. I put it in last week's as well. Uh, Randito Davila, Glow Baby Glow, thanks for taking us to the Hot Wheels show. You're welcome. It was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed walking around, get to see the cars. You know, they had a vending machine. I don't know if it was for you or pay. I have no idea. I was having more fun walking around, talking to people, seeing their cars, fellow collectors, the de designers were there. Um, Matthew Serra, you need a better camera. Oh, my camera is okay, but. I did not notice that the lens was dusty. And, and when, the, when you're in the sunlight, uh, it causes, it was not good. It was okay, you know, it was fine. Well, nobody complained, one person complained. Uh, so the camera's good. The other thing I did is that when I was trying to avoid filming, oh, <laughs> I should have done that before. When I was trying to film people or film around the car or get better angles, because I was getting angles like on the engines or the interior of the car, I, I was I was holding it like this, right? And I would lift the camera up, but I would hold this straight so I can see what I'm looking at, right? I didn't realize that this thing was clicking as it was making a little, my finger, plus my fingers, you know, just, just touching it makes noise. So that was my mistake. Next time, no more, no more of this uh, fancy like this. And make sure the lens is clean, knucklehead. Ray Screws. Oh, sorry. I put a screenshot of my response. I responded to him, but I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Bruno Race, power up. Nice video. I really enjoy seeing these cars. Now let's build a giant track and see how they perform in loops and curves. Oh, well, yeah. I bet you some people would love to race around some orange track. As a matter of fact, a lot of them have. Angel Montes. Sir, the green and black cars were the ones from the loop race. That's right, double loop dare, I think it was called at the X Games. They had two cars decorated. They call it loop coupe now. Back then, they didn't have a name for the cars. And yeah, they did the uh, loop back at the X Games. Thunderbreaker Gaming. But do those cars have a detailed metal base on body? Yep, they all do, just like Johnny Lightning. I'm just saying. Choco Chip, the pug won. He's number one. It says number one. So if you're going to, you be number two, okay? Race Cruise. Hey, Race Cruise. Was there any chance of getting autographs or not? Now, in the beginning, you know, Jay Leno, I filmed Jay Leno was there. He was doing a special thing. He was a guest of honor. It was his birthday. And 
one of his handlers, or I don't know if it's his or Mattel's or whatever channel's filming it. Uh, no picture, no video. That's okay. They're trying to do. Well, later on, everybody's just walking around. Even Jay Leno. Now he still had his people around him, but he was taking pictures. He was signing autographs. I don't think he's going to be at all the stops, but uh, I'm not sure who's going to be where. Now, the, the Hot Wheels designers, they were here. A lot of them were there. Larry Wood was there. Yeah, well, I, was, I talked with him for a while. If you want to get an autograph, just ask, right? Larry was there. Uh, Brendan Batuski was there. Mm, oh, I'm sorry. Mustang. Can't think of his name. Sorry. There was a lot of designers there, right? Graphics guys. If you know who they are, they were there. They're just hanging around just like the rest of us. We're all fans. You can chat with them. Ask them for autographs. Yeah, you could. And I've been seeing some pictures of some of the cars that are going to be at the other events across the USA, right? And another thing I don't know, I don't know if Mattel is bringing all their cars to each of these events. They have a lot of cars. I, 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 just, I don't know. Sorry. Extreme Zone 9. That being said, it's going to be a car culture event. Even if Mattel has their cars there or if there's Mattel people there, it's going to be a car culture event. Check it out. No, they're not selling car culture cars. I'm just saying. Extreme Zone 987. Wow, a lot of nice cars at that show. But my fave was that white, black, and red Pagani. Just stunning. Great fit. Thanks for sharing. And, and as other people have commented, there was a lot of cars, a lot of decades, a lot of generations, a lot of styles. Rat Rods, JDM, just so much stuff. It was really cool to be able to check it out at the launch at Mattel's headquarters in El Segundo, California. If you get a chance to make it to one of their events. As a matter of fact, uh, my wife, she works in Tennessee. I told her, you know, they're going to be in Tennessee. As a matter of fact, I heard Nashville. Maybe I'll fly out, join you. Yeah, honey, I'll come with you to Nashville. And then I go to the Hot Wheels show. I don't know if I'm going to go to that one. But the last stop's going to be right up, right five minutes from here, Pico Rivera. Uh, I'm in Montebello, California, filming this right now. It's going to be close. I'm going to go to that one for sure. I'm kind of wondering if I'm... I don't know, maybe if I want to go there for a while and tell people, hey, if you want to come check out the filming studio, you can come on over. I don't know. That could be opening Pandora's box, security issues and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. Look forward to your comments. Thanks for popping in to another weekend show. Have fun with your cars and happy collecting. Bye-bye.